Hi, Fashion Dolls. It is Thankful Thursday, August 25th, and welcome to an all new episode of Style by Stevie. Our very special guest today is a beauty influencer. She's all about body positivity and encouraging women, and more importantly, inspiring women to embrace their natural beauty as well as their bodies. She is the true meaning of radios. And we're going to be getting into some of our favorite go-to fragrances. Now, as you can see in this basket here, I have a whole bit. Um, some happen to be some of her favorite fragrances as well, too. So, without further ado, let's welcome our very special guest, our girl, Tina Marie, the true meaning of radios. Hello. Hello. Can you see me? Sure can. Hey, how are you? Welcome, Welcome to the dollhouse. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad to be here. All what right. a introduction. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. I am such a fan of your channel. When you do your Candle News Network, I get it every morning. The notifications go off and then you and Queen of the Girl Geeks and Cynthia, I have to go back and check to see what is the deals on Bath and Body Works. And I know for SAS, this year I went all the way out and got almost everything. So I should be prepared for Christmas. <laughs> We're never prepared. We're never. We're never satisfied. We're never happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So where do we start? Tell us how, because I've been watching you for a long time. Even when you have, I said, who's the girl with the red hair? I, I have to go back and check out her channel. And I fell in love with you instantly because I'm like, she's the home girl next door. She's all about beauty and positivity. And during your Camden News Network, we'll get into the scents. We'll get into which our favorite scents are because we could, I was so undecided which ones I was going to pick and pull. But Going to your channel gives me inspiration daily because at the end of your Candle News Network, you give us a piece of wisdom. So tell us how Candle News Network came together and the True Meaning of Radio is your brand. Um, well, I actually started my channel out of depression, and I talk about that a lot. I was going through a real tough time, and YouTube was one of the places that helped me forget about all that. You know what I mean? And I went to school for broadcasting. I actually... I went to college and then left college and went to trade school and finished there for broadcasting. And I really wanted to do something that was within there because that made me happy. And I just discovered YouTube. I started watching like Nature Bee and stuff like that. And I just was like, man, this is great. And you know, that's when beauty was a big thing and eyeshadow palettes. I can't do makeup for nothing. But I was like, I can review it. I know what's good. I know what's bad. And I know why, you know? So that's what I started to do on YouTube. And that's how I got started. And I was like, man, Dollar Tree is really cool. And it was really cheap. So I started doing Dollar Tree videos. And that's where the budget stuff came in. And then it just evolved to Bath and Body Works, like, out of nowhere. And then I just really fell in love with that place because it really helped me at a real down time. And after I noticed what an outlet mall was, it was over. Like, period. <laughs> it was over. I went crazy. And then CNN started, I think three um two or no i think two two um candle days ago because it was so much going on things was changing all the time and i always wanted to talk about it and i was like okay we always watching celebrity gossip there's all these youtubers on here talk about nikki this this person that this that yeah. that that wouldn't it be cool to do it with candles and beauty and fragrance and make that a jump off thing so I started that, and it was like some hate in the beginning, like, oh, you don't need to do that. You don't need blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm going to do what I want. And because I know I like to preach positivity, and I even have a separate vlog channel that was about trying to conceive and all that because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and all that. So that channel was based upon that once upon a time solely on just helping people and being positive. I said, what if I take what people like, but leave them with something at the end leave them with something at the end that makes their day better that way they have motivation to go on because you never know who's out here that don't have one person pushing them to be great and have a good day and they just dreading just waking up that morning 
So that's how it happened. And some people are like, well, we don't want that. I don't get a bang. Who don't want that? I know it's more people that want that and need that versus who don't. So I love putting a po something positive or something funny at the end so people's day start off the right way. And that makes sense. And you do that. You're, and you're a mom. And I'm pretty sure the majority of your fan base is women. I, I know it resonates to me as a woman because I'm like, okay, self-care is definitely a must. And during this pandemic, it's taught me to take care of myself a whole lot. So going to your channel has definitely been refreshing to get the notifications, to see, okay, Tina Marie posted, and then to see Queen of the Girl Geeks and Cynthia and all of the girls who do Bath and Body Works reviews and yeah. Trader Joe's. Um, you did a review on Trader Joe's and then your deep clutter. I'm just like, okay, this is so therapeutic for me. This is my zone. This is my end where I can find out to take care of myself as well, too. Yes. And I find it very helpful, like even the shower routines and stuff and watching people, watching people um, like Boho Guru. I talk about her a lot because I love watching her. She's young. She's fresh. You know what I mean? And she has so much knowledge and I like to watch her. And that's why I'm always praising her and telling people, go follow her, go follow her, go follow her. Because I really do think like some of the, the younger generation, they have a lot to offer because I'm part of the older generation. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm fine with my space because, you know, I'm 36. I'm older. So I know I have this genre of people versus the younger people that have all the younger crowd. And that's more on YouTube. But I like to just center myself in the middle since I kind of look young and I can fit both ways because I have, you know, the knowledge. Okay. All right. Yeah. I like fashion dolls and true meaning of radiance, supporters, my girl Tina. We are here because I know you guys have been anticipating and waiting. Hi, I see you, Scent Junkie. I see all of you coming in, Bath and Body Works, Scent Galore. And make sure you guys are going to check out the deals on Bath and Body Works. It is buy three, get three. Cynthia posted a video this morning and I checked it out. So please go and rack up. We are now transitioning from summer into the fall month. So that means we can't be showing the skin and everything. We got to be suited up and get prepared because I remember Tina said that in one of her videos, getting into fall transitioning. So let's get into some of our favorite scents. I know I'm going to start with Tina's faves because I remember she said these were some of her faves on her channel. I couldn't choose. Yo, look. The, 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 I didn't know. You, ain't, you didn't tell me how many. So... <laughs> Uh, look at this thing. <laughs> this I went crazy too, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, it was too many. Hey, everybody that's in the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're about to get into our favorite sins. Like, definitely make sure you put your favorites down below. And hey, Tebow fan, I did see your comment. Hey, guys. This is sort of like the verses for a fragrance. Yes. You can get to see which one. If she has sugar, I have spice. I mean, we all have different systems. Not a word. We can randomly grab. Yes. <laughs> Let's oh, no, okay. you go first. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some of Tina's faves. I'm going to pick at least four that are Tina's faves that I've seen her talk about on her channel. I know that she goes crazy over pink chiffon. This is the body cream for pink chiffon. This is one of my faves. Oh, my God. And you got the spray, I too? There we go. <laughs> yes. I know another one of her faves, and she said Graceland, her daughter, is loves this one too, and that's Bubble Gum Pop, which is perfect, and it's a perfect mix. Um, I seen somebody that I follow, one of the um, sick creators here on Instagram, said that if you mix this one with Britney Spears Fantasy, it is a vibe. Please try that. Try that. Another one of her favorites, I think she said, was A Thousand Wishes. And this is the older package. And I know yeah. a lot of people during the holiday time, this is a perfect scent. So it can be versatile for both summer and fall. And I know she said she loves this one as well, too. And that is Cozy Evening, which yeah. has become one of my favorites I as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got into that one with this last SAS because it wasn't nationwide last year. It was only for test stores. So now we got it. So yeah. it's definitely five. So yeah, those are some um, those are some of the ones I'm, I was definitely feeling and I'm still feeling. And I didn't know if we can include Victoria's Secret, so I include some of those too. Yes, just girl, go right on it. 
<laughs> so the two from Victoria's Secret I want to talk about because I'm almost out of this one. I got one more cool one though. It's never in the summer. Like never in the summer is summer in a bottle. Like seriously, it is so good. It's fresh bargamot. Um, it's sapphire seas, island hopping. So this just makes it feel like you're at a fresh getaway, and yes. it's very light. But when you put it on, everybody gonna smell you, and they know what you smell like. So I really, really enjoy this one. And this one had an entire line, like they had the peach squeeze, they had the banana twist, all the ones that came with this line from, um, I think it's Victoria's Secret. This one was really, really good as well. So these were my top two from Victoria's Secret. And we all know, of course, Love Spell, because we've been wearing that since we were like 10. So Love Spell is always going to be on the list too. So those are my favorite from there. Love Spell is a classic. When my mom goes to her doctor's appointments and everything, because they've given so many different versions. And it's funny you mentioned Love Spell. I'm looking at Love Spell Nori right here, which is one yeah. of my favorites. And I gave my mom the floral one that's got the glitter beads on the inside. Every mm -hmm. time she goes to one of her appointments, she sprays out. She loves Love Spell, which is a classic. It's been around for oh, years. Oh, vibe. I love Love Spell. And I also like, oh, goodness, it's pure seduction. That's good, too. But yeah. Love Spell is just memories, like nothing but memories. All right, fashion dolls, it is my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some of my scents. So we're going to mix it up a little bit and get into the fall scents, like Tina said, because it is now getting into the fall month. So my favorite fall scents are as follows. It would have to be champagne, apple, and honey. And this is the older packaging. They changed it up. And I also love sweater weather. As Tina would say, it's sweater weather. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And it's something about these scents. Like I mix champagne, apple, and honey with Jimmy Choo's Fever. It is a whole vibe. I, I'm telling you, try it. It's an excellent combination. It's sweater weather. I would normally nine times out of 10 mix it with God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. So it's a perfect, perfect blend. Yeah, blends in. I have to definitely give that a try um, as far as that Jimmy Choo, like for real, because uh, I have that one. <laughs> now, for fall, like the main one I brought out was like an OG I wish would come back. It's Toasted Praline and Pear. Ooh. Yeah. It is good. Like I was hoping they would bring this back. It's been about three or four years. Y'all let me know in the comments how long it's been. Three or four years since this came out. But Toasted Praline and Pear is just a really nice scent. And I just wish they would have brought that one back, which they haven't. Of course, just like you, Champagne, Apple, and Honey is definitely in there for fall. You got that? If you don't have that honey, like, period. Like, there's no fall, period. So those is definitely my top two um, that I have in here, I think, for fall. So... Um, I have one, but it's not for fall. It's more like a winter time, and it's um, the midnight pomegranate. But as we get to the end of fall, mm. is when midnight pomegranate slaps. I love it during that time. And it's a perfect thick combination. I use that one, midnight pomegranate, with Olay's watermelon and guava shower gel, and it is an excellent combination. Because I went to Walmart, because I also go shop. I don't just do Bath and Body Works. I do the Tracy Fred and... Mm -hmm. um, what is the Soap and Glory is another one of my favorite brands as well. Okay, so, so I mix Olay, and then when I mix the Midnight Pomegranate with the Olay Watermelon and Guava, perfect combination. And then for my, is it Afternoon? I can't remember the other one. That was a part of this collection from Bath and Body Works as well, too. I think it's Evening oh, something. Talking about, I can't remember. It's but, just so many of them. <laughs> and it's like in a, got it like blue? Or something, something it's like yellow afternoon sunshine i think it is okay the yellow one because i got all three of them that came in and one was like blue and then yeah one was yellow and then it was the pink i don't remember the names but i know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah. the yellow one i mix it with doves mango absolutely an amazing yes afternoon sunshine that's it thank you yeah, for that's it because <laughs> i got the spray because i collected the sprays in the lines just to make sure i had it all right, so these are two of my favorite fragrances. 
and I love firecracker pop. I have the shower gel also as well, too. I still haven't figured out what to mix it with. It's such a amazing, fruity, florally scent. And then you can really pick up those notes of Tempus in it as well, too. And I love Cotton Candy Cloud. Now, I've seen a lot of people mix this one with Ariana Grande's as well. Too. Not God is a Woman, but she has a scent called the, Cloud. Uh, the Cloud well, one. Yeah. Like so, on the Cloud. Because I got both of those. <laughs> uh, my two all time, I mean, if I had to choose, like, I got to be honest, I did not like how Bath and Body Works did Beach Nights this time. Like, to me, it, it just didn't do no justice. But the old Beach Nights, that's my love. I love this one. This is the original. The original is so good. The new one is so much more vanilla. And this is more marshmallow. And I love marshmallow. So this one gives more marshmallow, where that one, it gives more uh, vanilla, in my opinion. And people like that. So some people went for the vanilla. Some people like the marshmallow more. It just depends. And but it's definitely. It's very good. And if we wanted to go back a little bit, well, a lot of it, Sweet on Paris, this is really mm, Yeah. With firecracker pop, oh my God, we lost the sound. There we go. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sweet on Paris, Odie, but goodie. I absolutely love this. I almost got through the shimmer mist, and this is hard to come by. You got to get off Macari and stuff like that, and it's expensive. So I'd be trying to hold on for dear life for this scent. But this right here is definitely an all-time favorite. Enter the Night is also a good one as well, too. Someone mentioned that in the comments. And yeah. Red, you can red, you can mix pink sugar berry blast with firecracker pop. I have to try that one. Another one that I wish that they would bring back if and my girlfriend told me about this one is country trick. Country trick and beautiful day. Having it at the outlet. And in your outlet? Yeah, sometimes they have it at the outlet. They'll have the lotion and stuff. I definitely have to get it because I haven't been looking for that one. I'll keep a lookout if I see it again. All right fashion doll. So another one of my favorites, which is more so like a wintertime scent that I absolutely adore, would have to be Starlit Night. This is one of my favorites. This one right here is rich, and you can definitely tell that it's got a lot of iris and snowberry. I'm getting more notes of snowberry more than anything. So this one is rich and decadent. I'm not sure what I would pair this one up with exactly. So if you guys have any suggestions, pear and toffee scent. I wish they would bring back Perfect Autumn Day. Yes. That was a good one. But I like that that one that you just had. That is perfect for the wintertime. That is just the perfect combination. And it's not giving too much and it's not over strong where you offend a lot of people. I like that more than I like Dahlia. I don't know if y'all like Dahlia, but I know a lot of people like Dahlia, but it's like, nah, I can't do Dahlia. I can't do Dahlia. I'm not a floral. I'm not a floral. I'm, not I'm a actually wearing Dahlia today. I wish you guys could do it on me. Everybody, I'm sweet. I can't do florals. <laughs> I love like, it all. I'm not, I, I can't, like, the floral that I love, like, I even have it in here, Magnolia Charm, like, that's bae to me, and that's a floral. And I can wear this one every day. Like, it's the bomb. So I'm not big on florals, but when I love one, I love it. Like, and I love that one. When I smelt Magnolia Charm, because I went to the semi-annual sale, and our store had 75% off, stuff marked down for 75% off. And I saw Magnolia Charm, and I smelt it when I was in the car. And I let my mom smell it. And I said, what you think about this? I said, hmm, let me get into it first. And then I smelt it again when I got home. Because, you know, most scents smell different in the store than when you get home. Marigold Sugar is another one of my favorites. Too. Not that sure. Dahlia, I mixed Dahlia because that is my scent of the day. I mixed it with Christian Seriano Midnight. And I did that early this morning. And I said, wow, they smell just light. And I'm getting more taco bean than anything. I'm getting more taco bean notes. So if you're into the rich coffee-like scents for the fall season, that is a perfect scent, Dahlia. But Tina says she don't really like the florals. I love the florals, though. I love the florals, and I love the sweet scent as well, too. 
Yeah, I'm scared of the new one that's about to come out. Is one, but this that's about to come out that's real floral. But everybody's like, it's all right. I'm like, okay, I'll get a mini to try it out. But you can't hit me with something that got florals everywhere and saying this floral, and I'm just supposed to go, ooh, like I'm just like, nah, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right, fashion dolls. I mean, I've got so many more. I don't know how many Tina pulled fragrance flies, but I've got so many more. I'm in here now. Got some more. <laughs> we are just chopping it up about our favorite scents. Make sure you guys put your favorite scents in the comments and give us your favorite scent combinations because there's so many. We're now stepping into the fall months. I'm still wearing my summer fragrances. Like Summer Melody is one of my favorites. I actually have that one. Um, Happy Vibes is one of my favorite, and I actually paired Happy Vibes with Fiji Sunshine Guava Team, and those oh. orange notes, those pear notes mixed together blend so perfectly, beautifully together, so try that combo. Y'all writing notes? I hope y'all are taking notes. We ain't just talking for our health here. <laughs> it's education at the same time. <laughs> yes, and Fragrance Junkie, if she's still in here, she's all, she's always showing us, um, Whiskey, bourbon whiskey is one of the men's scents because Tina was right, men's scents don't really get a whole lot of a whole lot of credit or sales in Bath and Body Works. So for my mm -hmm. ladies out there, you can definitely mix men's scents. A lot of women have been doing it for years. You know, if you got a boyfriend, a bear, whatever, he's not there and you want the house to kind of have that masculine energy, you can get a candle or you can mix some cologne in with your favorite body lotion or body cream and it will give you that perfect blend of both masculine and feminine and i feel as though like with the scent like jimmy Choo fever champagne apple and honey and maybe bourbon and whiskey would be a perfect blend all together you get that perfect blend of everything larry yeah i'm here for it. and i know tipo fan mentioned um the original mint, that was so good. That's a mint scent. I wear that one and I like to shower with it because it has that mintiness. Like when you take a shower, especially the original from CO Bigelow that came out, you would be so like tingly, like especially in the cool months. And it's a men's thing, but I still use it for myself. I like it a lot. The, oh, Winter says that her favorite is Pink Velvet Cupcake and Giorgio Armani My Way. My, I've smelt My Way by Giorgio Armani, and if you're not really into florals or like those sweet candy-like scents, then My Way wouldn't be for you, but that is a good combination. I haven't found Pink Velvet Cupcake. I haven't seen that one in years. Another one that I haven't seen in years is Dark Kiss. So they might bring that one back. They might revive it. Who knows? Dark Kisses, yeah, it's normally at SAS. Dark Kiss, I tried to get into. The only thing I could get into is the lotion. I don't like it. <laughs> it's too much. I can't do it. <laughs> it is the per it's a perfect scent for fall. I wore it during the summer, and it still got the attraction that it would have got during the fall months, but it's a perfect fall scent. So, yeah. And and the how, before we get into um, Tina, before Tina gives us our next because she did so many videos on sass i feel like sass this year was it and i miss it already i'm just like i wanted to come back so i racked up a lot on hand soaps the 295 hand soaps how did you all feel about that because i don't know i only got two left and that is rainbow cereal and i think it is wildflower um wildflower rolls so those are two of my favorite hand soaps the cereal one is good if you like those type of scents. And I know that I love that one. And I did stock up on that one. And I just love the 75% off. When it was 75% off, so I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the outlet had it popping, like, for the low, low. So I grabbed a lot of soaps. But I'm still grabbing soaps. Like, the last soap sale, I grabbed a whole bunch. I recorded a soap haul that's going to go up today because I went back and got more soaps the next day. Like, I just... I lose my mind. Soaps is like my guilty pleasure besides uh, fragrances. Definitely is. And Tina kept coming with the thunder. She kept dropping videos. I said, oh, my God. And when I showed my mom your channel, she said, how does she get all of these scents? It's like, my God. Because, you know, ladies, we, women, we love to have options. And we've got a man here that votes for one of his favorite scents on a woman. Um, Rich says that he loves Japanese cherry blossom. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that one of Mama Marie's favorites? We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Turn the ACV alive. <laughs> I'm a hater for life. <laughs> oh my God. I got my mom the sanitizer to um Japanese cherry blossom and she loves it. Like the spray on sanitizers are good as well too. What I really wish that Bath and Body Works would do is give us a mini sale. Like they have given us a sale on soaps, but give us a mini sales. Like I love the lip glosses and stuff as well too. And that's my favorite sales. And it's been like I think a month or so since they done went and they got new minis out. So I'm like, um, I need to get some more of that, especially the lip gloss cider donut just dropped. I'm like, I want oh. that. Not the 950. I don't want that. I want it for 295. I was like, I could get behind it for 295. Everybody is still dropping their fragrance junkie says, because she's always posting. She posted Midnight Swim. And when I seen it, I said, okay, I can pair this with this. I think it was pool and water. David off food with cool and water, and then you mix it with midnight swim. Perfect scent combination. You're getting that driftwood like you just stepped on the beach or something. Um, opium. Oh, what you know about black opium? Um, <laughs> Saint Laurent, vanilla mocha cream. I almost forgot that when I didn't buy hand soap because I was trying to hold out until winter sets. They need to bring a mini sale because yes. I love to rack up on lip glosses. I love lip glosses. Yes, I get mine from the beauty supply store, but I love. Bath and Body Works lip glosses as well, also. Definitely. I love them, and they smell good. And they're yummy. So, um, Cynthia says she loves to taste hers, and that was the new one that you mentioned is actually one she said she wants to um get. <laughs> I've decided on that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, I mean, we've got a good bit. i got a good bit more. We keep talking about our favorite scent combination. Um, I know this is me and one of my cousin's favorites, and that is Hello Beautiful. So, again, for the floral, for my florals out here, um, you're getting very much gardenia. You're getting those jasmine petals. And I sometimes, if I want to just feel, if I want to smell girly and flirty and feminine, I would mix this one with Bubblegum Pop and Britney Spears Fantasy. Or I would do Victoria's Secrets Ooh La La from Sexy Little Things, which is an amazing scent combo. But I have the Ooh La La Shimmer Spray. I'm looking at it up on my vanity. So perfect scent combo if you're into the florals. And I like Hello Beautiful. Even though I'm not a big floral person, I do like Hello Beautiful. I do like that one a lot. And the packaging is so beautiful. Like I have the original packaging of Hello Beautiful and the spray. The spray is just a pink bottle and then it's like turned at an angle. But I love the packaging on Hello Beautiful, and I love the packaging on A Thousand Wishes as well, too. That bling packaging, because when I seen the soap, I said, oh, yeah, this is eye catch. And the mm -hmm. mini spray for A Thousand Wishes is also beautiful as well, too. Another one of my favorites is, and Tina did this as one of her reviews on her candles, Poppy. This was actually one of my free gifts. So definitely use your rewards. This is one of my free gifts. Poppy is it. And it was trending, TikTok, everywhere. This is the scent. I still haven't figured out how, how to match this up or pair this up with something, but Poppy is it. So, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I got everything in Poppy, even down to the backpack. Like, it's, it's, it's that serious. It's that serious for Poppy. Like, I love it. Thousand wishes. Hello, beautiful and moonlit. Oh, I gotta try that one. I actually have moonlit path. I, that was one wasn't one of the ones that I pulled. I wanted to pull it. Don't knock it till you try it. Two parts, hello, beautiful. One part, moonlit path. Now that's a scent that everybody is going to be familiar with when you walk into the room. And that that jasmine flower and moonlit path picks up. Everybody can recognize it instantly. So yeah, your florals. You'll love it. <laughs> yes. And speaking of the florals, um, orchid. This one, this next one has a lot of orchid, vanilla orchid in it. And this is one of my favorites. As you can tell, I've been really, really using it. And it is that golden ocean pearl. It matches my nails. I don't know. Me and Tina have this thing where we match our nails to our products. I don't know. <laughs> it matches like whatever line came out. <laughs> but... I love Golden Ocean Pearl, and I'm just like, I wanted to buy more of these during Stas, but I got what I can get, and this is definitely one that I love and cherish, and I use my Fiji 
Sunshine Guava Kiwi. That one is gone. I'm looking at it on the table over there. And I'm like, I've really been using it. So this is one of my faves. And that's one that I said when it came out, I said, this this should have been a fall collection. This screams fall. That one screams fall. And that's why I got it for the wear in the fall. So yeah, that one's good. Definitely. Rob's a geek. Oh my God, Rob. Um, You know what? Tina said that in one of her videos. And somebody else, it was Cynthia. Cynthia said it in her video too, that Poppy kind of reminds them of something. At first, I was thinking of Lenique's Happy. But... It I gave did. a little bit of that, and it gave a little bit of something else as well, too. We just couldn't put pinpoint and put out I, a lot of, yeah. Because I don't like open sky, and I like that. So it's not the same to me. It's not fully open sky, because I don't like open sky. Love Burner says, love these type of lives. Two besties just chatting about sense. I am such a girly girl. I love my hair. I love my makeup. I love smelling good. And I feel as though when you have all of these things, when you smell good, you look good, you feel good, you walk into the room with confidence, it enhances your mood. And scientific studies have proven that a lot. So now that's how you accessorize everything. Absolutely. All right, another one of my favorites, and I know Tina says she doesn't like the florals, but for my floral lovers out here, Night Bloom and Jasmine is one of my favorites. And as you can see, I've been really using it like it right here so definitely it's something about jasmine flower for me that really blends in and my grandmother says this all the time when i put on a fragrance and walk into the room it's like it blends in certain people just have that aura and that mm. chemistry when they put on a scent it blends in with their body chemistry and their skin very very well and it's like skin to skin contact and it's just yeah. natural like it's one fragrance that I really, really, truly love. I, I have, I love them all. And that is Alien Goddess by Mugler, Terry Mugler. That is one of my favorites. If you like those vanilla cream must scents, another one of my favorites is Michael Kors Golden Amber. That's one of my favorites. And I've been wearing that one since the holidays. I got it for Christmas last year. And my aunts and my grandmother's them, they love it. My uncle's like, who is it? It was Stevie that smells good. <laughs> So I love it so much. Night Bloom and Jasmine love it. Beautiful fragrance. And it's soft and delicate. So if you're not, if you don't like the spicy, the spicy type scents for the fall season, um, then go for something lighter. Night Bloom and Jasmine is it. It's not I, too heavy. I actually just got it for the packaging, but I got that one. So I do have that in my collection. <laughs> All right. Another classic that I'm pretty sure every Bath and Body Works channel here on the gram knows about, and I had to add it to my favorites, is Gingham. Now, I got the whole entire set for Gingham. I've got the body cream, and I had the shower gel as well, too. But Gingham is it. So I'm not sure if Bath and Body Works is going to update the packaging on Gingham, Gingham and give us something different. You never know with them because they redid the packaging on A Thousand Wishes, and Another one of my favorites is Into the Night. Someone mentioned that. So it's the perfect blend. The perfect blend. The gingham is everything. It's soft and it's not too heavy. And I hated on it when it first came out. So I was like, it's so light. It's so light. Now I like gingham. I like gingham love. And I like gingham gold. Like gingham gold is my favorite. Oh, yeah. The, um, for Valentine's Day, the gingham love. When I smelled that one, because that was actually one I got from Sands, my mom fell in love with it. She took it as well, too, because I just got her into, you know, getting into fragrances and wanting to smell good and things like that. So she's getting the hang of it. She's going to be a collector for you, Mallard. <laughs> yeah. All right, Fashion Dolls, I've got three more scents. Well, yeah, three more. Um, this one came out during the winter time, 2020, I want to say, 2019. Twinkling Nights is one of my favorites. And this is the old packaging. I wish that Bath and Body Works would bring it back. They might bring it back for Christmas this year. Who knows? But mm, it's, it's the perfect scent of everything. It's like, it's giving me very much champagne and vanilla. Perfect blend together. So I still haven't figured out how to pair this one up either. So who knows? I'm going to experiment around and see what I can do with um, Aaron by Estee Lauder, Amber Musk and see how it smells particular nights. And I'll let you guys know. We would love like some kind of post update or something in the stories or something. Yes. 
everybody knows this one right here when it dropped. And Tina got the backpack for this one right here, Butterfly. And this is actually one that I got my mom for Mother's Day. We split the setup. I got the whole set and I split it up and I gave her some and then I gave my grandmother some and I gave her some. But I said, no, no, I'm going to take the spray. The perfume sold out at SAS. And everybody, because I went to go try to get the shower gel and the perfume for it, and it was sold out completely at SAS. So luckily, I got it before everybody else. Thank God. All right. My last two fashion dolls, High Fabric and Body Works, Life. And Vaz and Body definitely one of the people that knows sales before the sale is the sale. So definitely somebody you need to follow. <laughs> I definitely will. I'm going to be following a whole lot of Bath and Body Works pages because I'm really into Bath and Body Works. I'm, my mom says, you are obsessed with Bath and Body Works. You, you love going there. You, I said, I love different scents. You know, it's just like with my hair. I love to change my hair. Yesterday I had brown hair. Today I have black hair. So I love to change it up. My last two favorites are Happy Vibes. And this is one of Tina's favorites, Summer Melody. I wanted to see what all the buzz was about. And that watermelon, it it does something for me. I, and what I do is before I get in the shower, I, how many of you guys do this? I spray my um, mist in the shower before I get in. And then I get sometimes one of those steamers and it's like aromatherapy. You can smell it throughout the whole entire room. It smells amazing. So those are my favorites, fashion dolls. That was good. <laughs> 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 That was good. Like, what I want to, I got, like, a couple oldies. Like, if y'all remember when Honey Sweetheart came out, like, this was before. Ooh, yes. Old, old, old school. <laughs> like, I don't even think I had Grace yet when this came out. But this whole line, Honey Sweetheart, then they had a purple one with it, too. That was a whole mood, like, all of them. So I got this off Macari. Again, they, they get me what the upcharge, but it's worth it for me. <laughs> And this one is really sweet. So I did like the Honey Sweetheart a lot. Um, another one that I loved, and I have like, if you watch the uh, like six or seven of these, Beachfront Blanket, that baby powder in this, it's oh. just a powder scent. And I really love Beachfront Blanket. It smells good with it. So you can use this around your house. You can use it on yourself. Wherever you want to use it, it is multi-purpose. Um... I do have one that's good for the house. I don't like this on me, though. It's Juniper Breeze. The Juniper Breeze, I like using around my house. It just makes it really, really fresh. Because these mists can be used around the house because I know we all own, like, at least 30, 40. So it's always good to use them for different things. So I like this one for around my house. It makes it smell really good. So I use it for that. Um, and one that came out when we was in the pandemic, uh, Margarita Cupcake. And everybody was filling strawberry pound cake. So I was like, strawberry pound cake was Beyonce and margarita cupcake was um, Kelly Rowland. And then there was another one, and we called that one Michelle. So <laughs> everybody was this one. And this one right here is baby. Me. I love margarita cupcake. And I got a lot of backups of it. It's really sweet with that citrus, with that lemon and lime. This is a summertime fragrance to me, and I think if you want to wear it year-round, you can get away with it in Texas because it's always hot here. But this is a good one, and my mom and I both love this one. We fight over my strawberry. Every time I bring one out, I have to hide these from my mom. This is just the strawberry fine fragrance mist. This is just strawberry, like just strawberry, nothing else, and it's like a strawberry extract. And this thing is lit. Like, if you haven't tried this one, this is definitely one that people want to get. They don't have it no more. They didn't come back for semi annual sale or anything like that. The outlets end up getting it for a minute. Then they just disappeared. I haven't seen this anywhere, but, like, on the specialty sites that sell them, like, Macari and also on, like, Poshmark. Um, and then I went crazy of this one when Landa Sweets came out. So I wanted to bring this up. I know everybody's going to talk about Mary Cookie, but Mary Cookie keeps coming back. But they haven't brought back Bright Lemon Snowdrop. Now, this one was my jam out of the wholesale. Like, they had the blueberry. They had 
hot cocoa and cream. They had the Merry Cookie. It was just a cute collection. And I'm really hoping that they come out with another cute collection like this um, for this winter. Because the one last winter, it was cute, but it didn't give Land of Sweets vibes. That one was a full vibe. So I'm hoping they come out with something like this one again. And then my last one is beat up, though. Velvet Sugar. <laughs> like oh, Velvet Someone mentioned that one in the comments. Mm-hmm. And Velvet Sugar is sweet, and you can pair it with a whole lot of things, like a whole lot of. So Velvet Sugar is definitely one I absolutely want to make sure that I always keep on deck. And the outlet gets it quite often. Um, but I know the regular stores, they really don't have it that much. But Velvet Sugar, you know, is definitely a top one for me. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the ones that I had in there. And she had a boatload of body scrubs. Like, I am obsessed with Tree Hut's body scrub. Um, I like the cotton candy one. That's a perfect yes. blend also as well, too. Again, those girly, floral, fruity scents. If you love that, that is a great one to have as well also. And when you mentioned strawberry, I thought about strawberry soda. Strawberry soda. Um, um, you have got that one over there. I'm looking at it on the shelf right now. I know that's one of your faves and Mama Marie's faves. And I yeah. said, Huh? Her short butt, be ready to fight me. Anything strawberry. She <laughs> <does>. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm glad that you guys all are enjoying. Again, drop your favorite scent combinations. Um, We're talking body scrubs right now. I didn't grab any scrubs or shower gel, but I know for me personally, tree hut scrubs are everything. And I've seen it all over Instagram. If I'm scrolling down my feed, I see tree huts. And then it have got the, the shade oil for my ladies out there. When it's that time, we get that fur. So definitely, those are amazing. The body butters are also amazing as well, too. Because when you've mentioned Victoria's Secret, they have some great body butters as well, also. Definitely. They do. I just don't like their lotions. It's too runny. Mm -hmm. It's running. I'm doing Magnolia uh, Charge. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's scrubs and body butters. The body butters is lit and they're gonna have the pumpkin one come back again. So I can't wait for that one. So Trader that Joe's Body Works creamy body scrubs are like and then they've got that perfect amount of shimmer. The only thing about the glotion is if I'm wearing something like this or I'm wearing a dress that is cold shoulder. I would have to get gloves literally to put that lotion on from Bath and Body Works because it will leave so much shimmer on the inside of your hands. You look down and it's nothing but shimmer. And I love what they did with the um the body washes as well too. The foam body washes has got just a perfect amount of shimmer into it. And they did that five practice. Yeah, they did. And a lot of people don't like the glotions. I know I see all the comments, but I'm I'm a glotion girl. Like I love glotion. I like the glisten. But I think in like fall and winter, I don't like the glisten as much. I like more of the one that they came out like during the holidays when they had the more whipped version, like they did with twisted yeah. pepper and stuff like that. That was perfect because it just melts into your skin. It was perfect. But I do love a good lotion, you know, in these kind of months because, like you said, the shoulders is out, the legs is out, everything's out, and it looks real good. Just blending in and glistening. So I do love me a good lotion. I am definitely a fan of that. Oh, I forgot one. Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. For all of my lovers out there who love a vanilla scent, this is it. I literally thought I was eating ice cream, and I wasn't even eating ice cream. I had to look in the room again for a second. It smells that decadent. She said the booty is <laughs> Yes. Yes, for well, my ladies out there, we like to show during the summer months. Cake, 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 cake. <laughs> pink lotions are, are good. Yes, I love Pink by Victoria's Secret. I have to really get into their scent as well, too, because they've got some great scents. If you like vanilla and coconut, that's it. Mm-hmm. They have that sprinkle one. It's really good. So, yeah. And I think that one came out, like, two years ago. No, three years ago. I was in an apartment thing, like, three years ago. Yes, the vanilla one is good. Um, Any other winter 
time scent that you guys like in the comments anytime any other fall winter scent um another one of my favorites i didn't pull unfortunately was fairy tale i wore fairy tale yesterday that was my scent of the day I know that was one of your faves. I should have got it. <laughs> Love fairy tale. I was so happy when I found the perfume for seventy five percent off. That was lit. <laughs> and what's the other one? Cloud Nine is another one that I like too. I'm looking at it. Cloud Nine, um, at the beach is another one. Um, the girl was gonna charge me full price at the store, but unfortunately, she gave it to me for. 412, which is one of the prices that was at said. So she looked me up. So shout out to her. Um, if there's some, which one I am putting in there? Saltwater Breeze. That's definitely going to be an all time oh. favorite. Saltwater Breeze. I'm mad they messed up the collection, the collection of the new packages and all that. I did not like the new Saltwater Breeze, but the original Saltwater Breeze, classic. Love it. It was so cute. Man, I wanted that perfume. Fairy Tale Robs. And fragrance junkie, that's actually one of my mom's favorites. And she said, "Do we have any more of this around here?" Because she thought that she misplaced her body wash of snowflakes and cashmere. I just said, "No, mom. They just changed the packaging because Bath and Body Works their packaging doesn't stay the same." She said, "I thought she could, I could have sworn because I bought her three. I bought her bought it in bulk for it. three shower gels for shower creams for um snowflakes and cashmere. Perfect scent. Bonfire Bash is a great one too." Yeah. Fire Crazy is definitely that chick. I see the comment. I have oh. third three. I, I love with that one uh, this winter because it gives you that sweet, but it still gives you that cozy vibe. So yeah, fireside flourish for sure. Breakers Junkie says she bought so many backups of salt water three. I have to start. <laughs> <doing that. laughs> she definitely knows so because that's my baby. I got like three or four of the perfumes minimum. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Champagne Toast. Why didn't I grab that one? Champagne Toast is another one of my favorites. Also as well, too. It's, it's more, for me, it's more so like a winter time scent, but I guess you could wear it also during the fall month. Rotate. If you want to and just layer, it's a good layering combo scent. Fresh Cut Lilacs. I didn't grab that one. It's, it's so many. I'm looking at them. I'm, as I'm building up my Bath and Body Works collection, I have so many scents. And I'm just like, wow. So it's building up. Fireside flurries. I actually got the shower gel from Sats for that one. And I have the body look. So I, I pray that they bring that one back for the holidays. Me too. I love that one. But that's, I've stocked up pretty well. So God knows I need nothing. <laughs> when I worked at Bath and Body Works, we all... We were all tired of champagne toast, but it sold out every time. Yes. Because it's a classic and so many people, because everybody, and I said this in a video, everybody's not like us. Everybody's not junkies, collectors, and always down with the get down to people. Like even the amount that we showed y'all today, that's a lot to them. And we're like, that's just a few. They're like, that's a lot. All right. So to most people, just a few, two or three, and then including like a champagne toast or JCB is just those necessities for them and they're happy. So I would imagine it always sells out even though it gets on our nerves sometimes. It's a classic scent. Um, sweet pea and white t-shirt. I haven't tried white t-shirt. I haven't tried that one yet, but I have fresh getaway, the body cream in my purse. That was actually one of the gifts that I got. That was actually a giveaway. So make sure you are Checking your emails, getting your rewards on a daily, using the Bath and Body Works app, app as well, also. Definitely, since it's nationwide now, we all can get it without having to put in certain codes. <laughs> Wild Honeysuckle. I haven't smelled that one in a long time. I've seen it, and I hope they bring it back for sats. Who knows? I'm looking, I'm looking. Candles. Okay, candles. I racked up on candles during SAS as well, too. The one that I'm smelling, because I love that gourmand popcorn scent, that caramelized popcorn scent, is Summer Boardwalk. That one does it for me. Berry Waffle Cones are also one that can be used for the fall, winter months as well, too. And here's a little FYI on Palo Santo. I know everybody's like, mm, you like that woodsy-like scent? 
It's great for relieving stress. I know like when I'm doing my interviews and stuff, my nerves are through the roof. You like Palo Santo, you do whatever you do, and you're in your zone, that will zone you out. It is great for relieving stress. So FYI on that. I like Palo Santo. I like it for certain times as well. So I do second that. One that I really love that needs to come back and is playing with my life is Inspire. Like the whole Inspire collection was a vibe. Yeah. Was a therapy line is so good. And it only had a one wick candle. But that one wick candle will fill, fill a whole master bedroom. Like it was a vibe. It was a mood setter. It calmed you down. It just put everything in the mood. It was just Inspire is a beautiful collection, period. And I really wish I would bring that back. Like hardcore. I wish I would come back. All right, how did everybody feel about the Halloween collections, though? Now, I haven't smelled Vampire Blood. I want to see what the obsession is, because when everybody, when that one came out, when the, when the Halloween sets and stuff was released, I said, okay, let me see what this one is about. And the candle holders, the witch's hands, and things and such. How did everybody feel about the Halloween sale? Because I know Tina did some um, coverage on her channel. Kimberly and Santos also did some coverage on their channel, so shout out to them. And you did a collab with them also. This was during SAS. So yeah, <laughs> it was so much fun to meet them. They're great people in person. They really are. I liked Inspire. It smelled like an old-fashioned donut to me. <laughs> I didn't like Vampire Blood this year. I don't know. I didn't really get into a lot of the line this year. The one I liked this year was the Enchanted Candy Potion. Like, Ooh. that was it. That was life for me and the holders. And that was it. Like, the rest of the lines, they could have kept that. I didn't like it. I the like eye it. and the, I wanted the eye. I seen the eye and I said, oh, my God, yeah. this is so beautiful. And then they shook it up. It spark, the sparkle on the inside and everything. And then the witch's hand. So yeah. it was it crazy was, last year. I, so. me, and I got both of them. And I got the witch's hand and the uh, soap holder. So I was like, all that just, it all came together for me. But I didn't like the bust. I thought that green, it just didn't do it for me. Um, and I got the black one last year, so I was fine with that. So I was done after that. Sweet whiskey. That is another one of my mom's faves. She has the shower gel. We have the classic packaging for that one because I think it's, what, three different versions to it. So mm -hmm. definitely, sweet whiskey is a good one as well, too. If you love those sweet vanilla-like scent, it's, it's a great blend. So perfect pair. Yes, I love sweet whiskey. Girlfriend, most out of the Halloween candles, is a sweet strawberry scent. Lamp, vampire blood is a tart strawberry scent. White pumpkin and chai. Great fall scent. Mm-hmm. Great job on the candle holders this year. For the Halloween collection, they went all the way out for the candle holders. I do agree. They were too expensive. And I agree that they went up, but everything yeah. be going up. But and they seen the power of online. Like, yeah, I don't know the, the power of, like, Macari on, and stuff. Because if a broken witch hand is going on Macari for $200, they know they can sell you a good one for 65 And you're going to pay that 65 because a bad one went for $200 online. They watch those things. If you don't think they watch those things, they watch those things. Hey, Sneeko the Diva. Y'all don't follow Sneeko the Diva. You need to. I love her channel. And she actually is one of the people that work at Bath and Body Works. She's a manager. So she's definitely, she's real and she's honest. And I absolutely love her. But when it comes to the items, they, they definitely see the prices that are, were going online for these items and they see how much people will pay and they just keep playing with it and see how far they can go, but they always continuously will sell out. It just, how it goes. And sometimes Bath and Body Works are trials. They'll, they'll put the price up and then they'll lower the price. I know they kept doing that during SAS. Like I was trying to get, um, which scent was that? A very waffle phone is one of the ones that I don't have. And it was fresh coconut colada. Fresh coconut colada. I went back to try to get the shower gel for that. I added it to my cart, and it was gone. It sold out so fast. So some of our favorite popular scents sell out just that fast. They'll lower the price, and then they'll bring the price back up. And I said, mm-mm. You no, know, even for the single wick candles, like $6.12, that's not a bad deal at all. 
but people started racking up on it. And then I seen $3 for some of the single wigs. And I was like, okay. But I went back and tried to get it. It was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. So SAS is you grab and you go. And then you always can do your price adjustments. So it's always good to be able to do your price adjustments as well. That's why I preach the price adjustment. I shared how to do it. I actually did it on Instagram to show y'all how to properly do it. Because all stores are different, and it's always good to call your store. But I know the stores here yeah. I live, a lot of times they want the product with you, or they'd be like, no, nah, no dice, because it makes it harder for them to have to put the information in. So they'd, be, they'd rather you have the products with you when you do it. But this new system, I don't know how that's going to go, so we'll see. With the changes and everything, use your rewards and also your coupons. I know I think it was Sense Galore here on the ground posted coupons or something. I'm just like, golly. Even Cynthia on her channel, her sister gives her coupons. I'm just like, I used to get the Bath and Body Works coupon in the mail and then it just stopped all of a sudden. So if you want it, you have to go on the app and then put it off like that if you want a better deal to, you know, cut down. And then get your free item as well. Too. When they have it available, definitely. All right, so we talked candles. We talked our favorite body scrubs. We talked our favorite scents. We talked the Halloween sale. Um, predictions. What do you all think is going, Bath and Body Works is going to come out with next? Because I predicted it's probably going to be an even bigger sale. They were dropping hints like I got an email yesterday, and they're saying that, okay, you're missing out. You need to check this out. Wait till tomorrow. So I'm just like, okay, Bath and Body Works, y'all trying me. What y'all got coming out? So Lord only knows what they have coming out. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of try to believe it sales coming. Is that time of year again where on the weekends they're going to be doing those try to believe it sales? That's what I was told. So that's going to be coming a lot more often. So definitely be on the lookout for those two on the weekends. More prepackaging. I just went to the outlet for the first time. It was about 25% off coupon. I was in heaven. Yes. And there's nothing better like, you know, said in the beginning, like that 75% off. During status, I really racked up. Like, I went back and I got a few doubles and some of my favorite body creams as well, too. Got to use that we're hiring coupon. Thoughts on Midnight Amber Glow? I don't have that one yet. I like it. But then I don't like is I still am up in the air about it because when it dries down, you get that nice caramel and I love it. But when you first spray mm. it, it's fine. so when it dries down, it's good and I love it. The candle, I still can't get with it. Maybe I need to light one um, and on cold, it just don't smell good. And I need to smell it burning because on cold, it don't give me nothing but ugh. so I still ain't bought that candle yet because I can't get over the initial smell of it yet. I know another one of Tina's favorites that I should have gotten was Pear Cream Brulee. Pear oh. Cream Brulee. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> that was good. Now, if you like Victoria's Secret Pear, the classic Pear Glacé is a Pear Glacé, then you will love Pear Cream Brulee. Um, and peach, yep. fresh coconut, there's a fresh peach for Sesco. I've got the hand soap in that bag, and I love it. It's like peach macaroon. I think it was peach macaroon or macaroon peach. That, that yeah. was mm -hmm. the collection as well. And they had the bubbly rose because ro they for a minute just would not let bubbly rose die. Like it just kept coming out like crazy. I guess now it's starting to die down a little bit. White pumpkin chai is definitely coming back. Um, we have a Sunday floor set for localism and hometown faves candle, Mag X Coffee Whiskey Chef's. Mm. Mm. Look at the information coming in. Okay, Chico. <laughs> Shout out to my girl, Blue Haze Clothing. Definitely for my ladies, go and check her out. She is in the Atlanta area and her pieces are pretty dope. So I've worn a couple of her pieces here on the show so y'all. Please go and hook her up. Check her out. Midnight Amber Glow and Coffee and Whiskey together is life. Yes. Oh, that's God. the same.
for the people in the back, can we get toasted praline and care back? That that's I, that's what I was talking about. Listen, man, I was, I was talking about that's one of my faves. Yes, we need to get that back. They play way too much. That's the jam. They'll, it's like Bath and Body Works will have a scent for a few for a few months, and then the scent, and before you know it, the scent is gone. You gotta wait till Sans to get it. But they'll give us twenty million packaging of JCB, but I can't get none of the good scents back. That everybody was liking, like why? Like it made no sense whatsoever. Like none. If people was really digging that scent, I think if they came back, people would go crazy. Buy this for coffee and whiskey spray. BBW fan forever. I like coffee and whiskey. That's a good one for the men. And I recommend the whole men's line. The whole new men's line was was a bop. All of it was good. The scents smell so good. Yes, they do. I I, I kind of like the beach nights. Now I haven't smelled um the original version of it, but I'm definitely I just put some on. And I'm getting a lot of vanilla. I'm definitely getting a lot of creamy vanilla and the beach wood, the beach driftwood. So if you're into that beach driftwood scent, like we've mentioned earlier, Midnight Swim is perfect as well, too. So you can mix it with Aqua de Joya from Your Girl Money. That's another one. And Cool and Water. So it's good scent. It's good scent. You can mix it up. And when you layer it, I think it was Kimberly. Kimberly said on her channel, Kimberly and Santos, she says when she gets out, she puts her lotion on and she layers it with her spray. So I'm all about the layering, even with shower gels and like my body creams, I do it all the time. So especially if you put it on your clothes, you're going out, that scent will last long throughout. And when you walk in the room, yes. Everybody wants to smell it. Everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the compliments will rain in like, oh my God, is that her? What is she wearing? And that's what you want when you're going out into the store, even though our nose are covered most of the time wearing our mask or whatever. And people still can smell the scent. It's that powerful. And as Nico said, the new men's line is actually unisex, so everybody can use it. Everybody. And that's definitely something that I like to. Cause I can sneak Justin stuff and he won't even care. Welcome. If you're just coming in, we are here with our girl, Tina Marie. We're just dishing on our favorite fragrance combos and what you can mix it up. We're talking about the men's collection and such. And just go to Bath and Body Works. Um, check your emails if you're signed up for the rewards. When I went in the store, cause I wanted to get copy, I wanted to get the body spray. And the girl says, mm, well, you can get um, something free. So I went right to the poppy shelf and I grabbed the poppy body lotion. That was my free gift. So take advantage of those rewards, I'm telling you. But what I really would love for Bath and Body Works to do is to give us a mini sale. Because I know a lot of people love the pocket bags, the pocket bag holders, the lip glosses, the, the spray sanitizers, and the body cream. Like, when you're traveling, you want to smell good as well, too. Like I said, fresh getaway is in my purse. That is my go-to body cream when I'm out and about running. Definitely. I really want another mini sale, especially since I want to do some more traveling as we get into the cooler seasons. So definitely mini sale is something that we need on the docket. All right, fashion dolls. Any more of your favorite fragrance combos? Because with the men's scent, you can definitely mix it up. Poppy, yes. Poppy is it. I wanted to see what all the buzz was about. Because I seen the commercial pop up and that flower, the flower, the flower itself, is what mm -hmm. drew me in. I was sent here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was sent here. And another person, if you need to follow for layering, and if I do her intro, everybody's going to know in the comments. So I'm just going to do it. It's welcome back to my channel. Jasmine Boer is like the queen of layering fragrances. And she's in the military. And y'all need to follow her if y'all don't follow her. Like her information like is priceless. And her scent layering combinations, she does them all mm. the time. 
and does full videos on them. And I have to say, she's one of the queens of Sid Laren on YouTube. I'm just going to give her that title myself. And we need to get her up. up. Like, I think right now she's at 26,000 subscribers. There's no reason why she shouldn't be a lot higher right now because she is really, really good. So if you don't check her out, definitely check her out too. That is all. <laughs> Love Poppy. It reminds me of this summer dream. You know what? That's, I might try that combination. There's a couple combinations that I might try. And like Tina said, I might add to my story. So y'all know I'm big on fashion, but I'm also, I love to smell good. I love to look good as well, too. So check out my stories. You never know. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't mind another perfume oil like Wildflower Honey. That was great. Mm -hmm. Love Jasmine. And then Bath and Body Works gave us the CBD. I, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting them to give us that CBD um, fix. I love the aromatherapy. I love the aromatherapy collection as well. The new. Ooh. Beachfront, beachfront blanket. Lavender is about if you're trying to use your archive breakfast. Yeah, she was talking about the prime blanket and then the cozy one that you showed. Yes, cozy evening. Cozy evening. Yep. Well, we got no a new one. It's cozy season. Where's the? It's a cozy one that just came out. My store didn't have it. They just came out with it in the new collection. Let's see what else do they have coming out? Fashion dolls. I'm going through your comments here um another one of my favorites that i did not grab was into the stars someone mentioned it earlier into the stars if you mix that one up pretty well with a fragrance i should say i'm gonna go with michael kors um golden amber um that one right there per se will definitely definitely it is something about it. it's something about it you guys Kayla Michelle and Simply Chasse are Simply Chasse are good with combos too. Yes. All right, fashion dolls. Do we have any questions for myself or my girl Tina Marie? We've been talking about fragrances. We talked about candles. We talked about so much more here. All things Bath and Body Works. And yeah, don't be afraid to give Dollar Tree a shot too. Because I love their body scrubs. Again, I am a body scrub fanatic. I love Tree Hut, and I, I get some of them from Walmart. Um, Dr. Fields is one of my favorites, personally. I like um, them. And, yeah. and let's see. Um, another one of my favorites. I haven't tried the Taraji P. Henson collection. I want to see what the buzz is all about. So I hope you all have enjoyed today's show, Fashion Dolls. This was incredible to be able to collab with the one and only Miss Tina Marie. Do we have any other questions, comments on your favorite fragrances? Marshalls and TJ. I, Tina just did a Marshalls um, haul for her channel. So you guys head on over and subscribe. This stuff too. Pink Suede in Canada. Yeah, they said that. Cozy cashmere. Yeah. Thank you, fragrance junkie. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Me and Tina have we planned this not too long ago, and it's been long overdue. I have been wanting to collaborate with her for the longest, and it's a dream come true to have her here to be able to collab with her on my favorite thing. Being new to the Bath and Body Work, scent connoisseur world, and of course, tackling fashion as well, too. But it's a part of lifestyle. It's a part of, you know, when you smell good, you look good, you feel good. It's just part of confidence. 
if you it's have all a part of beauty it's all a part of beauty you can't you can't have your makeup done and you stank you can't it's all works together you can't have a cute outfit on and your makeup ain't done right and you stank like it's all a combo it's all works together so you definitely need them all for it to work if you had to do a start set what would you recommend to someone which is still available both ladies what scent would I recommend? Um, for me, personally, um, the scent that everybody knows this one, and it's just an original scent. It's, to me, it's pretty basic. I would have to say Sweet Pea. It's, it's very light. It's very delicate. Um, uh, oh, my goodness. I would start off with Sweet Pea. That would be one of my favorites to start off with first. And Sweet Pea is it's an OG, triple OG, and it's, yes. some people will be offensive. Because some people's too strong, but it is a great starter scent to start off a collection. It's Sweet Pea. I agree with that one. That and Saltwater Breeze, but Saltwater Breeze is no longer permanent, so that one is not easy to get like it used to be. When you look good and smell good, you feel good. Yes, Fragrance Junkie. And I love look going through Instagram and seeing you and Tina and Cynthia, Queen of the Girl Geeks. I'm like, these ladies are doing their thing with the scents. Like, I'm trying out new, y'all have me trying out new scent combos. And I'm just like, okay, this smells amazing. What really, did the one that I really, really love the most would have to be Bubblegum Pop and Fantasy by Britney Spears. And that's when I'm feeling girly. But I want that perfect, if I want that perfect blend of both masculine and feminine, I would go for Jimmy Choo Fever and Champagne Apple and Honey. That, that is, that's the perfect fall combo right there. I gotta do that one because I got both. I gotta do that one. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Sweet pea was my favorite. Yes, that's a good one to start off with, and it's it's been around for a very very long time. Yeah. Um, um, I think it's an amber glow. Is it amber glow? That was one of the ones that came out as well. And that's an oldie. Yeah, amber glow. My one of my friends, she put me on to it. I said, "What's this you smelling?" So it's got a very much vanilla. You like ambers? You like ambers? Or um, what that I truly love from Victoria's Secret personally is amber musk, and everybody knows that one. You're welcome, winter rainy. Amber romance, my bad. Amber romance. So amber. I didn't pull. I didn't pull this one. <laughs> Pretty as a peach and a thousand wishes. I love the new packaging for a thousand wishes. It's it's so beautiful. Good for somebody that likes the sweeter side of things versus the florals. Yes, I, I love it all. I love it all. I'm not one that I don't really like it, but I love it. And Cotton Candy Cloud is a great one too. Definitely. Definitely. All right, fashion dolls. I think we done covered our favorite scents. Do y'all have any last minute questions on your favorite combinations for myself and our very, very special guest today, our girl, Tina Marie. It was such a pleasure collabing with her today. And this will go up on my channel. So you guys will be able to check it out. I'm going to tag Tina and be on the lookout for the clip as well, too. So really enjoyed this live. Thanks, ladies. You are so welcome. So, so welcome. I'm so happy we were able to do it because Tuesday got all jacked up. So I'm so happy I was able to get right back in. <laughs> all right, fashion dolls. So I'm going to let my girl Tina Marie close it out because she does it in her candle news work work. I would be remiss if she didn't do it. I'm going to let her close it out with the thought of the day, the encouragement word of the day because, again, confidence ties into beauty and it's a part of that. So I'm going to let my girl Tina Marie take I'm going to end it with the same thing I said this morning. If you watch Kettle News Network this morning, because it was so funny. Is the dude that says you got to think big, bitch, okay? <laughs> it's him for me, because even though that's funny, that's true. And every time I think small, well, maybe if I could just get this. No, why do I just got to have this when I can have that? You know what I mean? When somebody tell you, oh, you just need to think small, no. Nah. We don't need to think small. We need to think big. You need to dream big. You keep going big, and then you just keep growing. But when you stay here, you're going to forever be here. Why would you ever want to be here when you could be there? It makes no sense. Yes, it takes a lot of work, 
and it's not going to happen over time because we are not in the microwave. It takes time, but you got to think big, bitch. You got to think real big. Stop thinking small. You want that car? Go get that car. I swear I wanted the Challenger forever. And I was like, I want to get a Challenger. I'm going to get a Challenger. And I was like, well, you know, you know, how you going? You got a mommy car. You're a mom. You're this and that. I said, I don't care. God going to make it where I can have two cars. Now, look, I got two cars. You know what I mean? Think Come big. On. And it was brand new off the lot with no miles on it. So think big, like don't think small, just keep thinking big in everything that you do, not even material things, health-wise, anything you want to think big with, think big with, and especially with my health, since I got COVID last month, and I have like so many complications mm -hmm. from it, and it slowed me down, I'm still thinking big, like I'm still going to continue to grow, to grow, to grow, to grow, because I want to think big, I'm like, okay, so God sat me down from my regular job for a reason, what is the reason like and basically um, he wants me to grow what i'm doing here so think big bitch think big you gotta think big stop thinking small you think it's too small think big period that's all i got <laughs> foxy diva says i love you tina my aries twin aries in the building 328 stand up <laughs> Think big, win big, believe in God. Absolutely. And everything, everything that you do. Absolutely. So I hope you all enjoyed this live collaboration with my girl, Tina Marie. It was such an honor to have you here, y'all. Please head on over and subscribe to her channel and all of the other content creators. Follow Fragrance Junkie. Follow Bath and Body Rest, Sense is Life. Follow Sense Valor. Follow all of the amazing content creators for all things beauty, bath and body work, and so much more. Because again, when you smell good, you feel good, your confidence boosted, and so much more. So y'all head on over and subscribe. One more thing, you got to follow the CEO, okay? Life inside the page. I know she's not on here anymore on Instagram. She stopped her Instagram. Follow her blog post, man. I'm telling you, Tess is the CEO. She know more than anybody all the time for like months in advance. So like the side the page, blog spot, definitely make sure to check her out too. Had to shout out Tess, originator of letting us know about all the deals in advance. And we truly appreciate and love her and wish one day she will come back to Instagram. Thank you. And shout out to Pico the Diva as well too for giving us that sneak peek on Pico. Nico, and she lost so much weight. Like, Nico looks so good. She's definitely one of my weight loss inspirations. All right, fashion dolls. And that is it. Shout out to our girl, Tina Marie. Thank you all for tuning in. And thank you, Tina. It was such a pleasure having you here. Thank you for having me. I do appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for just tuning in with us and just having a, just a little bit of time. I know it took a little bit of your time, but you wasn't doing anything but working anyway. So you needed a break. So <laughs> like, I was able to chill it out with us. All right, Fashion Dolls. Y'all head on over, subscribe to our girl, Tina Marie, and check her channel out. Check out Candle News Network. She dropped a new video this morning. And I'm pretty yeah. sure she's going to come more with some more bangers. So y'all head on over there and subscribe to her. Thank y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Take care, everyone. Y'all have a good <laughs>